uh, internal variability of the atmosphere, noise, and uh, force variability from uh, force from the SST from the ocean. Uh, he then moved uh, in uh, Tunisia at the Institut National de Sciences et Technologie de la Mer, Institute, uh, National Institute for the Sciences of, uh, and Technology of, uh, of the Sea, and he is currently a director at the uh, Marine uh, Environment uh, Laboratory of the INST. His, uh, his video is in us, his sponsor is uh, USAID, uh, the peer project pro program, and uh, he, he, USAID sponsored Ali for uh, renewable energy uh, based on marine turbines, uh, etc. So today Ali will be talking to us about the Mediterranean Sea and evolving thermodynamic, uh, thermodynamic machine. Thank you, Augustin, for inviting me to give this uh, lecture today. Uh, so the title of the, uh, this uh, conference the, is the Mediterranean Sea an evolving thermodynamic machine? So, in this uh, presentation, I will talk about the Mediterranean Sea and will show you that the Mediterranean ha has its proper uh, and specific uh, behavior, but that uh, several of them recall those that happen at the global scale, at the global ocean. Uh, in fact, frequently the Mediterranean Sea is called the miniature laboratoire, the small laboratoire of the global ocean because it's almost closed and many uh, uh, researchers use it as a test for some physical, dynamical, uh, even biological mechanisms. The, the uh, global behavior can be tested in this ocean as it is almost closed. So this is the Earth, and in the center of the Mediterranean Sea, I think most of you are used to see in the center of Earth the uh, American continent. Here is the uh, European and the Mediterranean in the center. So you see the Mediterranean Sea is rather small uh, sea. It, in the air, its area represents less than 1% of the global ocean. It's a sea which is confined between two, three uh, uh, continents, Europe, Asia, and Africa in the south. The mean depth of the Mediterranean Sea is about 1,500 meters, which is less than the average global ocean uh, average, which is about, uh, depth is about 3,800 meters. The climate of the Mediterranean Sea is rather stable. Uh, there is no uh, hurricanes, no, the, no, the, there, are no, there, there are no strong disturbances that cross the Mediterranean Sea. There are some small ones which are called medicanes. And uh, the Mediterranean Sea is very rich sea. At least 80% of the uh, global marine spices can be found in the Mediterranean Sea. So if you look at, at this uh, global view of the Mediterranean Sea, it looks like Nothing happens in this in the sea in this sea. However, if we look in the detail, the Mediterranean Sea has a very complex orography and bathymetry, especially those high mountains in the north, the, some some mountains in the in the northern Africa, and the Mediterranean Sea is formed by several subseas: the western, uh, the eastern part of the Mediterranean Sea, the western basin. Between them is the Sicily Strait which is located between Tunisia and the, uh, the Sicily in Italy. And what is important for the Mediterranean Sea, it's almost closed, except that it has a connection, it's connected to the Atlantic throughout the Strait of Gibraltar here. It is a very important strait, and this strait uh, has a very large impact on all the dynamics of the Mediterranean Sea. The, the strait is about 40, 14 kilometers uh, width and 300 meter, 300 meter depth. And all the dynamics that occur in the Mediterranean Sea are really dependent on this, on this strait. So another uh, important thing with the Mediterranean Sea is that the, the population grows rapidly. You can see here the, uh, the uh, population in 1950 and in 1995, and you see that the uh, population has grown very rapidly. It's in the north, in the southern part, 
because of the increase of the number of people living there, but also in the northern part because there are several people, especially the old men, the retired men that come from the north to the, to the Mediterranean uh, coast because, because the uh, weather conditions are milder there and so they can uh, are happy to, to come to the southern coast. And if you look now at the, uh, what is the uh, Mediterranean climate? The Mediterranean climate is shown here in this uh, red color. The Mediterranean climate is a special type of climate that describes a regime of mild, wet winters and warm to, warm to hot, dry summers in mid latitudes, north of subtropical climate zone, uh, climate zone. But this climate occurs, occurs, of course, most noticeably in the regions around the Mediterranean Sea from where the climate gets its name, but also in coastal areas of California, this Mediterranean climate, South Africa, southern parts of Australia, and also in the Chile. So the Mediterranean climate, of course, as it gets name, it's in the Mediterranean area, but also there are other parts around the world where there is also a Mediterranean climate. Now, there are several uh, uh, phenomena that affect the Mediterranean Sea. First of all, the west, those west areas winds was the blow from the west to the east, and they carry with them some weather disturbance as medicines, that these are the special atmospheric disturbance for the Mediterranean Sea that cross the Mediterranean Sea from the west to the east. The Mediterranean Sea is also influenced by the North Atlantic Oscillation, if the, if the uh, what is named NO, if the, uh, if the NO index is positive, it means that the, the, it, it's, uh, we have rather bad conditions in, on the northern part of the, of the, uh, of the basin and uh, warm conditions on the south and the reverse, uh, the reverse will, will, be have, will have bad conditions in the, in, the, in the south, so with precipitation and warm conditions in the north. The Mediterranean is also influenced by the Indian monsoon through the worker circulation, the, uh, it's also influenced by the Sahara dust outbreaks, and this is, comes from the uh, serial cones. These are very warm winds that carry dust into the sea. And uh, if there, in, during such episodes in the morning you found this your car with plenty of sand, that's not very good for the cars and for the behavior. But I think the most important. Uh, phenomena that influence the Mediterranean Sea are those winds that come from the north, the Etesian winds, these are warm winds that blow in the no uh, during summer, but more importantly are the Bora and the Mistral winds that blow in the, in the, during winter. These are very cold and dry and strong winds that come from the, from the north in winter and late winter, and especially the Mistral one. The mistral winds that blow between the uh, in the corridor here formed by uh, in the region between between the two high mountains, the Alpes and the Pyrenees. This is very strong winds, uh, and they have large uh, effects on the Mediterranean Sea. That as we will see afterwards. So here to, I want to show this animation, this video. Thank you. 
So the question is here, why there is a continuous inflow of water from the Atlantic to uh, the Mediterranean Sea? Doesn't work. Okay. Well, okay, this is a schematic representation of the Mediterranean Sea. One of the uh, to explain why there is a continuous input of water from the Atlantic to the to the Mediterranean Sea. This is a schematic representation of the Mediterranean. Here, here is the Mediterranean Sea, the Gibraltar Strait. This is the strait that that is that connects the Mediterranean Sea to the Atlantic and the Atlantic Ocean. And one of the important features of the Mediterranean Sea that the uh, evaporation, the surface evaporation, exceeds the precipitation. The uh, evaporation represents about one meter per year, so one meter per year on average is evaporated from the sea to the atmosphere. Whereas the precipitation and the river in input represents about 60 centimeter per second, 60 centimeter per year. So the water budget represents a four centimeter, 40 centimeter per year of water loss from the sea to the atmosphere. So this water, this uh, water that is lost from the atmosphere is balanced by the input from the uh, Gibraltar Strait, from the Atlantic through the Gibraltar Strait. So this input of water, this continuous input of water from the Atlantic to the Mediterranean Sea explained it by the net water loss at the sea surface. So that the water that enters into the Mediterranean Sea due to, the, due to, to this evaporation and then it evaporates and goes to the atmosphere. So there is a continuous input of water to the Mediterranean Sea and then to the atmosphere. Now, the things are much more complex than that because when water evaporates, the water is salty and the salt remains in the sea, but the only the fresh water that goes to the atmosphere. So the, the uh, water becomes saltier and also evaporation means that the heat is taken from the sea to the atmosphere, and then so the sea is, because the sea water at the surface becomes saltier and colder. So it, its density increases. And then if it, its density increases, it becomes heavier. These small points represent salt. As it's heavier, they sink to the bottom. So due to this evaporation, which is the, uh, it's like uh, the engine of the system, uh, the water, is evaporated, and this the 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 water at the surface, which is by, which becomes heavy, sinks to the to the to the deeper lower layers of the sea at about 300 to 500 meters. So, in a continuous way, there is evaporation. This is the, the engine system. Uh, the water is transmitted to the atmosphere. There is water that comes from Atlantic, and as the water and the, uh, uh, the surface waters becomes heavier, they sink to the to the to the deeper layers. This is only this roughly represented in, in, this, in this in this video. So they sink to the bottom. The water that is becomes heavier sink to the to the bottom layers. Now, finally, we obtain what we call the thermohaline circulation. The uh, the water, the dense water. 
uh, sink to the to lower layers, and it's replaced by the water that comes from the from the from the, uh, the Atlantic. In fact, that we the surface water that we have shown in the video is the surface water, the upper part of the circulation that comes from from the Atlantic to the Mediterranean Sea, and in the deep layers, even in the in, at the Gibraltar state, there is water that. Uh, that outflow to the Atlantic. So there is a three-dimensional circulation here. Water enters in, uh, into the Mediterranean Sea at the surface, sinks down, and then moves out to the Atlantic, uh, to the uh, to the Atlantic Ocean. So the, this is this uh, uh, circulation is called the thermohaline circulation because it's generated by the density uh, change in the Mediterranean Sea, and it takes about 100, 100 year. Uh, to, so that the, all the uh, water of the Mediterranean Sea is renewed. Now, what happens? You can see this. Uh, this, in some way, uh, recalls what uh, what happens the, uh, in the Mediterranean Sea. The water, the uh, yellow one, uh, yellow curve represents the inflow of water. It crosses the Mediterranean, the, the basin, until the east end and the west end of the basin during its movement. It's the, it's uh, the it, uh, it, it, it undergoes evaporation. The, wa the water increases density and it sinks to down. And the, this is the the uh, in red the trajectory of the water that moves back and uh, leaves the Mediterranean Sea to the Gibraltar state. It, and it, low, it has rather complex uh, uh, circulation here. Some of some of some of the water even goes to the uh, Adriatic. And uh, see, and also to this part, uh, to, the, uh, to the northern part of the uh, of the western Atlantic, western Mediterranean Sea, the Gulf of Lyons. Now, this vertical movement of water due to due to the uh, increase of the surface uh, the surface density of the waters does not exist exist in the uh, in the uh, Black Sea. The Black Sea. Precipitation is larger than evaporation, so the, uh, in, uh, all the time the density of the, of the upper layers are lower than the density of the, of the lower layers. So there is no vertical convection, there is no vertical mixing of water in the, in the, in the Black Sea, and as a consequence, there is no uh, input of oxygen from the surface layers to the uh, to the uh, to the deep layers. There is no renewal of water. And, you, uh, and the, 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 resulting, the resulting thing is that in the Black Sea there is no life here because there is no almost no life because there is no renewal of water. There is no oxygen that comes from the surface to the uh, to the uh, to the uh, deep layers. It, it, in the Mediterranean Sea, fortunately, there is the renewal of water which which gives oxygen to the deep layers. Now we. Uh, in the, in, the, in the beginning of this presentation, I said that was one important feature of the Mediterranean Sea is those cold and uh, dry winds that blow from the north. This is the case here. This is uh, between the Alps and the Pyrenees. This is the corridor here. And uh, cold and very uh, dry winds blow here from the north to the south. This has large important consequences on the Mediterranean Sea because this example of the uh, episode of uh, uh, the, these winds, which we call the Mistral winds, in the south of France. These Mistral winds, sometimes they are very strong and they reach also the southern coast of the Mediterranean Sea here. here, here this is Tunisia, my country, and I'm li I live here. And uh, so during those uh, events, the, w w the wind is so cold that we feel it really. Uh, we feel cold here. Even Tunisia is known to be a warm country, but we, during those special uh, events, we feel really cold because of the waters, uh, those winds, cold winds that come from the uh, blows from the uh, southern coast, uh, southern coast of, uh, of France. And then the consequences is that these cold winds they lead to a very large evaporation in this area. A huge amount of water evaporates. Water becomes really cold and salt and the and heavy, and these water at the surface become so heavy that they sink to the bottom to the they can reach the bottom of the sea at about two thousand meters. 
So here, there is sort of chimney here, vertical conv convection, very rapid convection. All the water is mixed uh, uh, in this area. And as a consequence, there is a formation of deep water here that comes from the surface at a depth uh, uh, as, uh, uh, as deep as 2,000 meters. All the, uh, the area is vertically mixed. And this is in the world, in the, all the, uh, in the Mediterranean Sea or in the global ocean, there are few areas where such phenomena occurs. One of them occurs in the Mediterranean Sea here in the south, uh, in the uh, southern, south of uh, France coast. And this leads to a formation of deep waters or new one of the deepest waters of the, of the Mediterranean Sea. So in these two, this occurs mainly south of France here, but also to a lesser, lesser extent in the Adriatic Sea. But the main source of renewal of deepest waters uh, occur here south of France. So, and they, this is in blue lines, they recirculate in some, in some places of the uh, deep uh, areas of the Mediterranean Sea, as is shown here. So to summarize, the water, the fresh water, or the less saline water, enter at the Strait of Gibraltar. This is the Gibraltar, this is the Mediterranean Sea, with the Sicily Strait in the middle. There are two main basins, as I said in the beginning of the presentation of the Mediterranean Sea, the western basin and the eastern basin, and this is Brata State, the Atlantic. So water, the water, the less saline water, enter to the Mediterranean Sea from the Atlantic, crossing the Gibraltar State. Its salinity starts to increase because of the uh, evaporation. So it sinks to this intermediate layer, I'd say about 200 to 500, 400, 500 meters. This is what we call the Levantine intermediate water. It's formed by the water that sinks from the surface and then moves back and leaves the Mediterranean Sea by the Gibraltar State. So this is this, uh, this uh, vertical and horizontal three-dimensional circulation called the thermohaline circulation. And in the deepest part of the sea, we find this deep water that is formed south of France mainly in south of France. All these deep waters is formed mainly in, deep, in south of France. Some of, some of these deep water, when it reaches the, the, uh, the sea, it can also exist to the, towards, the Atlantic, uh, to, towards the Atlantic Ocean. Now, we have seen that the uh, evaporation represents about 40 centimeters per year, 45 centimeters, centimeters evaporates per year towards the atmosphere. But here, so that means that the, in the net water inflow is also about 40 centimeters. But sample calculations show that this inflow and what flow and outflow are much stronger. They represent, they are about 20 times, 20 times net inflow, which represents about 8 meters. So at each year, 8 meters, the equivalent of, uh, of 8 meters, enters to the, to the Mediterranean Sea from the Atlantic and also leaves the Mediterranean Sea to the, uh, to the, uh, to the Atlantic. So there is a, this is a huge amount of waters that circulates in and out from the, of the Mediterranean Sea. And this, the, uh, the, uh, the engine of the, of the system is the evaporation, simply because there is larger evaporation than precipitation. All these dynamics occurs, and there is, that's why I call it this presentation a thermodynamic machine. It's, Thermal machine because it's created by evaporation, but also because there is a warm source and, and cold source, but also evaporation uh, leads to change of phase of the, the water. And so it's it really a thermodynamic machine where it creates dynamics and, and uh, thermal effects into, uh, into the Mediterranean basin. So it's a rather complex system which occurs in the Mediterranean Sea. And the, what happens in the Mediterranean Sea, the deep, uh, the deep water formation really recalls what happens at the global ocean. You know that there is uh, the, uh, through the Gulf Stream, which carries warm water from the equator to the northern pole in here in the, uh, in the North Atlantic. The water, this is an example of the warm waters 
that moves northward and eastward to the, to west, the western to the, to west, the uh, western European coast, where these warm waters are responsible for the mild conditions in the western Europe. And when these warm waters they arrive to the northern Pacific they undergo strong evaporation, like what happens in the Mediterranean Sea. They, the water becomes colder, saltier, and they sink to the bottom layers, and they then back, they, in, the, in the bottom layers, they move back to the rest of the oceans. So this is also a thermohaline circulation that is around the, uh, the old ocean globe, but the main engine sources here is in the northern Atlantic. This, so that is a very similar behavior uh, between what occurs in the Mediterranean Sea with deep water formation south of France and what occurs here as a deep, uh, deep water formation in the North Atlantic. These are, these are perhaps the totally, two only places in the world where such deep water formation occurs because of, because of the large evaporation that induce the water sink. And this is called thermohaline circulation, it's a conveyor belt, it's a conveyor belt that's around the world. Now, uh, one of the scenarios for the future evolution of the, of the, of the Earth is that the, uh, the warming of the Earth. If the, earth, if the Earth becomes warmer, so the, uh, there is gla gla glacial melting, the ice will melt, in the northern part and southern part, so there is uh, fresh water which is will be uh, uh, invade the many places and uh, also the uh, Atlantic. So this fresh water, melted fresh water, means that the, there is dense, the uh, prevails, the increase, reduces the evaporation, prevails the increase of the, of the density because of the floating. This floating fresh waters will be cover, uh, will be uh, over the northern Atlantic, so there is no long uh, uh, conviction, there is no long uh, no long sink of water in the deep layers. So all the convection uh, belt will be stopped. All this to a northern uh, inflow of warm water towards the North Atlantic will stop. So the the uh, the Tropical and subtropical area will be warmer, and there is a huge, diff huge modification of the climate will occur because of the uh, uh, of that the uh, this inflow of warm, uh, warm, warm sea, warm waters towards the, towards the northern Atlantic will stop. All the planet will have will undergo some very uh, dramatic uh, changes. In the same way, similarly, similarly, in the Mediterranean Sea, if uh, in the scenario of the global warming, the uh, the uh, surface waters will be warmer, so the flotability, floating uh, buoyancy will increase here in the surface layers, and there is no, there will be no more water sinking because there will, the uh, the waters will be very light here, and the uh, the uh, upper part of the sea will be separated from the lower part without any re water renewal, and so we will move to the worst conditions like those in the, in the uh, Black Sea. No more water uh, vertical uh, convection, so we will no, we'll, uh, have no more life here in the uh, life resources in the uh, deepest layers of the Mediterranean Sea. That's not good uh, news for the Mediterranean Sea if things happen like uh, this present scenario. There are some evidences for the, uh, that we are going towards the scenario here in, this, in the area of the, the formation of the deep water in the south of France. There are some measurements show that indeed the temperature is increasing, the water becomes warmer and saltier uh, due to the global warming. In fact, the water uh, that comes uh, that in the surface when it uh, moves, when it sinks, it keeps its characteristics. Then, it, uh, then the water in the deepest layers 
here, the deep water, are trace what happens at the surface, so in the, in the, in the, uh, in the atmosphere. So clearly, here those uh, measurements show that the uh, deep waters of the Mediterranean Sea are becoming warmer and saltier, and the density may be so, so clear here for density, but there is some, maybe there is some increase of density for the, of the deepest layers. However, so of course, this will lead to some consequences on the biodiversity, on the living resources in the, uh, in the, in, in the, in the deepest parts of the Mediterranean Sea, as what happened in summer 1999. There was a massive mortality of large Sicil vertebrates uh, of rocky uh, or coralliferous substrates here, big sponges, also bivalva, and so on. They cannot move, and due to the warmer condition than, uh, warm conditions than normal, they are, have been mortally affected. And similar effects were, uh, were found also in Italy, in Greece, in Tunisia, and other and the Barrick Islands. They took more than three years to recover for these for this, uh, world, uh, living resources. Because they, these are uh, invertebrates, they cannot move, so they, uh, <coughs> they cannot move to, to, uh, to, to, to run away from these changes. Also, some uh, small crustaceans, crustaceans that populate the caves, the submarine caves, also, they die because they also they can't move. They, they, the, the change is very rapid. And it's if, uh, one year of warm conditions uh, is sufficient to, uh, to make those uh, small uh, christians to, to die. Because they, 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 the the changes are too abrupt compared to their adaptability uh, because they live in small caves in the deep, layers of the Mediterranean Sea. So well, cl uh, climate change and water warming will have dramatic effects on these, uh, on these uh, spices. And now, the, uh, the real situation for the, for the Mediterranean Sea for the, for the future is rather complicated because there are two contrasting effects. The uh, surface warming will uh, make the density increases, uh, decreases, so warmer water here will be increased for the view you see, so there it prevails vertical, uh, vertical convection. However, it has been shown that the, uh, in the, the scenarios in the future, the evaporation increases. The evaporation increase means salinity will, uh, will increase also as the density increase. So, the first one, surface warming, will decrease the density, whereas the increase of operation will increase the density. And the result, we don't know really if we are going to a scenario where the, if the vertical convection will increase or will decrease. It depends on which one is the stronger than the other. And the situation is rather complex in the Mediterranean Sea because of these two opposite effects of the uh, of the uh, surface warming and the evaporation. In addition to the uh, third, uh, third effect of the uh, water that comes from the, from the Atlantic, it depends on the change, uh, how the salinity of the water that comes to the Atlantic, to the maternity from the Atlantic, is it being to be, uh, uh, is going to be uh, uh, less or more saltier? If it is less saltier, if the salinity of the uh, Atlantic water will decrease, so that is uh, that goes towards the uh, increase of the buoyancy, so less vertical convection. If at the opposite, the salinity of water will increase, there will increase density of the, of the surface waters, and the vertical mixing will, will increase. So the real scenario for the future evolution of the maturity is not clear. It depends on at least three factors, the surface warming, the evaporation rate, and the, uh, and the characteristic of the water that comes from the Atlantic. That's why there are many different studies that are trying to see what is the future evolution of the, of the Mediterranean Sea, especially based on numerical modeling, fail to show similar behavior. This is 
this is some examples on how the, the, numeric, the uh, literacy is uh, reproduced in models. They are, uh, models generally use global model with zooming of the literacy or regional models where these models, they get information from the global model. This is uh, increase of resolution between the years 2000 and 2010, you see that the dissimilarity was were not very very well resolved in models, for example, in CMIP3. However, now for the uh, new projects in uh, SERSI or MedCordex, there are two projects that deal with numerical simulation of the materiality, and clearly that situation is much better now, and the, both for the uh, sea and the atmosphere, they are much well uh, uh, resolved. Now, these are some examples of the uh, uh, scenarios for the evolution of the maternity, and you can see this is to the, the, uh, these lines represent the CMIP3. This is for observations, the red one, and the uh, magenta one for, from the SERSI project based on, uh, on regional models, and you see all of them show uh, that the uh, air is becoming warmer, and compared to this period, the increase will be about, this is 2000, 2050, about two degrees warmer than the present conditions. This means that the, uh, perhaps, the uh, vertical thermohaline circulation will be reduced, but also that depends also on the uh, evaporation. Now, this is, this may be interests, Augusta, this is excessive hot days, scenarios for the future, and we see that this is all the material C, as a consequence, there is more excessive hot days. It uh, will be about 20 to 30 more hot days than present for the future scenarios. And this is for the sea. These are several models in, uh, for the, that uh, uh, reproduce the material C evolution. This is the uh, Average temp temperature for the whole Mediterranean water, and you see that the whole Mediterranean water is becoming warmer. And these two models here in Ajunta are our model from our institute, here, here. So anyway, that all the models that the water, the uh, uh, the Mediterranean water are becoming uh, warm, about here 13.7, 13.7. Uh, and getting to 14.1, so it's about 0 0.4 to 0 0.5 degree warmer than prison. This is an example of the uh, special distribution of the water warming. The water will be warmer, especially in the western part of the Mediterranean Sea. So flow the buoyancy will surely decrease in this area. In all the areas, there is the decrease here. Here also there is decrease about one degree, but except perhaps the North Adriatic, where there is no almost no change compared to the present situation. Now, this is uh, the uh, surface temperature uh, scenario evolution uh, from 1950 to 2050. And all the, you see that the all models agree. This is this is, comes from the Searchy uh, Searchy uh, project. There are, there are about five to six models. All of them show that the temperature will increase. Although there are some biases between the models, but all models show that the, temp the water temperature will increase. The surface water temperature will increase. However, if you look at, look at the surface salinity, we though we show that there is no agreement on, uh, on the evolution of the salinity. Some of them show a small increase. The green one, this one shows even a decrease of the salinity. The same, the same thing for this, uh, this model. Other models, large variability with almost no, cho no change. So although there is an agreement on that, the that the temperature will, will be warmer, with being warming. In the Mediterranean Sea, there is no agreement on the evolution of the salinity. And this is mainly because models fail to, to reproduce in the same way the correct ev evaporation 
and also the amount of water that uh, the, uh, the characteristics of the salinity or change of the water that comes from the Atlantic. And, and this, is, this is a key feature of the Mediterranean Sea I saw before. The, the evolution of the Mediterranean Sea depends uh, greatly uh, on the water characteristics that enter from the Atlantic to the Mediterranean Sea and different models, they simulate in different ways those characteristics that come from the Atlantic to the Mediterranean Sea, and that's why all models fail to show sim similar behavior. The, uh, another point is the sea level. This is the sea level simulated by all models. Here, all models agree to, to show that the uh, sea level will increase about 40 centimeters compared to the present situation, uh, to 20 centimeters compared to the present situation. Uh, okay, so this is the, uh, the, the uh, main behaviors with the main scenarios obtained with the present day models. Now I just want to few words about what happens in the central Mediterranean area where I live. This is important, this is some work done from with our institute. This is, uh, so this is the uh, water that I showed the water circulation I showed in the video, you clearly show this is our model in winter and summer. I clearly show the arrows show the evolution uh, water masses when they move towards the uh, the east. And maybe I can show this uh, video if it works. It doesn't work. Okay, never mind. How to leave it? Maybe you can show it here from the. Uh, no. So if you go to the uh, desk, desktop. Does it work? It worked. Okay, no problem. So it was just to see. Have you? No, see what's Okay, no problem. It was a video shows these those water masses uh, that uh, move from the uh, this area north of Tunisia and across the uh, the strait. Does it work? Okay, it's also based on our model. This is the sea level in the 1960, 1990, and 2050, and you clearly show that the uh, this is Tunisia, and along the coast, so the sea level will increase uh, about 12 centimeters between these two those periods and 25 centimeters between those two periods. And you clearly show this line represents the uh, traces of the uh, water circulation. So the sea level increase will be high compared to the uh, other places close to the uh, Tunisian coast because the water is stirred by the corollary force towards the uh, to the south. So and this is an example of uh, the uh, beach here in Tunisia, southern Tunisia, where the beach here is about 100 meter, and now it's about <laughs> two, three meters here. Here the, 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 the sea now is close to, the, to this uh, house. Uh, but part of it is maybe is attributed to climate change, but my part of it is also attributed to some weather disturbances. They in few, few years they also can change the, uh, the the costs. This is also for the uh, uh, Tunisia coast. This is the surface temp water temperature in the 90s and 2015, and you see that this very shallow area, this is a very shallow area, 
the impact of climate change will be very important because will the, the increase of temperature will be very high here. You see that this this is uh, uh, this temperature reach about 29 degrees, which is very high in this area. This is in uh, in July. This is in July, so it's very high, very high temperatures here. Some important consequences is that some new species of fish appear. We, we, have, we, are used, we are not used to this, uh, uh, I don't know exactly the names, of that, but uh, these, those, were, those fish spices were not present in this area. And because of the water warming, now we, uh, can, they can be found here. Uh, another space is the crab bleu. Crab bleu, how to, to say it? The blue crab. Blue crab, we, we start to, 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 start to find it in this place, perhaps, from from three to four, four years, uh, three to four years ago, we have a, there was never been we have never found some crabs, blue crabs. I don't know if you can find it here uh, blue crabs. Those big crabs in blue color, and we start to find them, and we try them and find it's very delicious. No problem with it. We so start to eat it to eat it, and but we so we have to accommodate with the new situation that comes from the impact of climate change on those local areas. So, and now using the model and these, these findings of new spines that appear, we projected to uh, make a uh, scenario evolution, and we found that until now there are about, until 2007, there are about 40 new spines that appear. And we, using the model with uh, uh, sea surface temperature, simple statistical calculations, we see that, we see that in 2050, we'll have more, uh, about 60 new spices more than the present situation, especially in this uh, this warm uh, water areas. So the, uh, we expect that we'll find more new spices in the future. So the, to conclude, I uh, showed that the Mediterranean Sea is a semi-enclosed enclosed basin. It has a connection with the Atlantic uh, Ocean. Several aspects in the Mediterranean Sea that recall what that, what that happened is in the global ocean, especially concerning the vertical convection, deep water formation, and the, uh, what we call the uh, convection uh, belt. Uh, in the, and there are in the global ocean that happens in the northern Atlantic, in the Mediterranean Sea that happens south of France. There are, so in the whole planet, there are only two places where, it, uh, where such convection hap uh, happens, in the North Atlantic and the Mediterranean Sea. The Mediterranean Sea undergoes climate changes, but at the opposite, perhaps, uh, to the whole planet, the whole ocean, this real evolution is not clear because of the opposite or the contrasting effects of the water, uh, the water warming and the uh, the uh, increase of evaporation and the resulting water salinization, in addition to the role of the uh, water that comes from the Atlantic, which is very crucial for the evolution of the Mediterranean Sea. And also, Mediterranean Sea is testing area of air sea interaction and budgets as it's closed, almost closed. If we know what uh, the, the, uh, the, the uh, transport throughout the broader state. We can, we can test many mechanisms inside the, this basin. And we have also sought some applications to local ecosystems, and we have seen that in some local places, as in the Tunisian coasts, in the Gulf of Gabs, we call it the Gulf of Gabs, maybe there is uh, important changes also on the ecosystem, on the, uh, also, also on the uh, living resource there. That and that ends my uh, presentation, and thank you very much for hearing me. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sorry? The climate change, what will happen to the Mistral? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know really, but I think it's the Mistral anyway, it's, it's too strong. Even if it changes, the, the change will, uh, even it, if, it, if it, will be, it will increase, that means that the uh, effect will increase, so the increase of 
vertical convection and decrease for the uh, deep water formation. But I don't, I don't know, I really know the exact response of what is the evolution. I think it's uh, as the evaporation increases, I think it is the, maybe it, it will increase also as other winds in the Mediterranean Sea. You have coupled models that can handle changes in the atmosphere. Ye yes. Among those models, about half of them are uncoupled models, and the others are coupled models. There, are, there is at least five to six models coupled models. And they are coupled, they coupling the sea to the atmosphere, but also they take into account uh, what happens, the, the, water for, uh, the water exchange with the atmosphere. This is the other important uh, thing. It, it does, uh, if you only couple with the model, the, from uh, couple the, the sea with the atmosphere, and you don't take into account the exchange with the, with the Atlantic, it doesn't work. Yes, very, very. Oh, they now reach a rather high resolution about, uh, for the atmosphere, it is about, say, 10 kilometers. Yes, and for this, uh, for the sea, it's about uh, also uh, 30 kilometers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there is, yeah. Uh, yeah. Any other questions? Water change with the Black Sea is negligible? Compared to that in the, uh, the Gibraltar state, yes. The, uh, there is some uh, dense water that, that goes to, towards the Black Sea, yes. Yeah. yeah. But in the, in the amount is, is, is really negligible compared to, to, to the Gibraltar state. Yes, yes, yes. There's a strong tide. There's a strong tide, yes. Yeah. There's some tide there. Tides in the Mediterranean. Except, except in the Gulf of Games, I shown here in, in two areas. In this area, and in the North Adriatic, uh, North Adriatic also, tide is very high there. Here, here tide about one meter. Yes, it's one of the one of the uh, exceptional uh, one. Uh, only one, only area where Gulf is high in the Gulf Gaps and the North Adriatic. Yeah. because there are this is a resonant place. This is shallow and uh, shallow and wide and shallow place. So the water is confined there, and so it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anything coming in? Yeah, there are some tides come, that come from the Atlantic. Myself, I wrote a paper on that. The impact of climate, the impact of tide that comes from Atlantic into the Mediterranean Sea on the uh, thermohaline circulation. I showed that it has it has it has an effect. The introdu introducing, taking taking into account the tide or not. In a model, does matter, and it has. It's not linear. It's not linear, and it has an impact on the temperature, temperature and salinity of the Mediterranean Sea. So, uh, some part comes from Atlantic, some part is created inside. Thank you.